Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you Week 8 of PCF. Chicago Baratics taking on Shadow and the Green Lake Y scores, who 6-0'd me last time we played them. Team's changed drastically since then. Um, I need to send him the... Offline, apparently. Oh no, JCM. Shadow. There we go. Alright, so we're sending Shadow the challenge. You guys can see the six that I think he's bringing. Check out the team builder yesterday to see what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing. Again, huge thank you to um, Olgabina for helping me build this week, this match. I couldn't build with the front office because Shadow's in the front office. Um, Olgabina and Panther really kind of helped here. I'm going to let Shadow and let him know. But I sent the challenge to him. Um, anyways, you see the six I think he's bringing. I don't think he changes his team much from first round of uh, this game. The only thing he did was he dropped DoD and picked up Clefable instead. Which is going to be an issue, um, for sure. But I still think he brings Nido King because Nido King 5 owed me. Out of the six kills, Nido King kick took five. Venusaur was a pain in my butt. Um, Hydreigon was a pain in my butt. Celesteela was a pain. Um, and always is. He's very bulky. Ms. Magius came last time. I think Ms. Magius comes again. And then Clefable's just going to swap in for DoD. Uh, just to be annoying. I'm leading Claydol. Nine times out of ten here, I'm going to lead Claydol. Come on, Shadow. Waiting on you, buddy. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm leading Claydol. Um, if I can get rid of things and get Gyarados... I need to get Gyarados behind Veil, get it set up, and then I can sweep. So... Shadow, are you alive? I am recording, Shadow. Oh, there we go. On the clock. Embor and Ambi Palmer here instead. Um, well, we gotta change this real quick. <laughs> he said he was blowing his nose. Okay. I got you. Got you there, dude. Um, let's see. That's not what I need. That's what I need. Okay, so we see the King. We see the Vino. No Hydreigon, which is really, really nice. Um, that should be you. Yes, you. So instead, we see Embor. Uh, Embor is Gen 5. I really need to get these organized. There we go. Open. I gotta send this there. Um, okay. Embor, perfect. We see Celesteela. We have Clefable. No Miss Magius. Instead, we see. Ambi Palm. That's not what I meant to do. Properties, browse, Ambi Palm. Luckily, you're right there. Little dancing monkey, and lock it down. Alright, I'm still leading Claydol. Um, leading Claydol is very, very nice for me because I can get up rocks pretty freely. So, we're leading Claydol. We're getting up our rocks. That'll help us tell which type of Clefable this is. Whether it's Unaware or Magic Guard. I'm hoping it's Magic Guard because then I can set up with um, Ambi Palm. Now then, Ambi Palm. Let's see, that one. What was that? So we have Ladle. Ambi Palm. I think I just set my rocks here, and then I get out of town. He's probably going to U-turn. Yeah, he U-turns. 
Not life orb. It's fine. I'll get my rocks up. I knew that was coming. Get the rocks. The rocks are going to help us with the Embor. Um, no Hydreigon looks very, very nice. I just means I have to get nine tails in on something else. There's the Celesteela. So there's the rocks. Celesteela. Against my Gyarados. not do hardly anything to me and I can freely set up basically on that thing. I kind of want to scout for the toxic. Chandelure. Chandelure comes in and immediately pressures this thing. It also cannot touch me. Chandelure will draw in Nido King. Which then I go clay all four again. It's pretty obvious that Chandelier is coming in here, but I want Shandy to come in and pressure this thing out, bring in the Nido. His Nido Queens is best check to um, best check to Shandy. Toxics, that's fine. Assuming Breaker, Nido King, we could easily HP Ice here. He's probably going to protect the scout, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Flamethrower. If he switches, good on him. If he doesn't, he's taking a Flamethrower to the face. He might protect just to scout it. The Toxic's unfortunate. I can't get rid of it. But this is exactly what Shadow did to me last time, was he started Toxic stalling me down. And I hate when people Toxic stall, but I'm not going to get as mad. I got super, super angry after the last match versus Shadow. I'm not going to do that again this time. Um, I, I just, I can't. I can't let that get me mad. This is basically make it or break it for my season anyways, um, as far as me making the playoffs. I'm either going to make the playoffs or I'm not. Um, with this game, like I lose here, I'm basically done. I'll be two and eight, two and six minus whatever, with no chance at making playoffs. If I can win here, it gives me some hope because it would move me back to three and five, which is not great, but it would get my differential to start to go up too. Um, worst case scenario is I'm three and five minus twelve, but that's movement in the right direction. So that's what we're going for here but losing will basically take me out of playoff contention, Pip. Ambipong, okay. Surprised, and he got burned. Dies to the burn. No 6-0 this time. No 6-0 this time. No 6-0 this time. Okay, we killed them on, so we are officially, worst case scenario, the same setting as Savage, where we are minus, or 0-2, minus 11 in league. There's Victor. I saw Victor coming. So now that Victor's here, what's Victor going to do to me? Oh. Uh, Espeon, he's going to hurt Espeon really bad. So I think I'm going to go into Claydol and let Claydol go down here. Claydol would be, Claydol's nice for multiple reasons, but if I'm picking a sack to this Nido King again, then, well, actually, what can Nido King do to Gyarados? Nido King do to Gyarados, especially considering that he'll get intimidated coming in. Oh, he's, that, he's probably special, so the Intimidate's not going to matter. Uh, he's going to hurt me. He can he can to kill me with Sludge Wave. Um, yeah, he can to kill me with Sludge Wave. So I think I'm going to go Claydol here. 
I still have Espeon to deal with a couple of things, so I'm gonna go to Clay. He does. He obviously doesn't have a remover, so these rocks are gonna stick around. Uh, we're gonna go to Clay. All Ice Beam's great. If he doesn't, he will on the next round. T Bolt immune. Oh, you thought Gara was coming. Cool. So, Clay Doll, custom set, Ice Beam will kill me, uh, my mom's calling me, oops, hang on, hang on, uh, sorry, Sorry about that, guys. I forgot I was supposed to text something to my mom and uh, didn't. And Shadow's like, let's go. And I was like, oh, crap. Okay. So we're going to Psychic. We're going down to this Victor. Oh, he's Scarfed. Okay. I think he's Scarfed. That's good to know. Well, Claydol versus Clef. Um, we're going to assume that he's Magic Guard Clef. Psychic did 29 to 35%, so that was nearly a max roll. Um, I should just keep clicking that. He's going to probably have soft boiled and want to set up rocks himself. Maybe, I don't know if this is going to be the toxic -y stall set again or not. Um, uh, what do we do here? He's going to want to toss his rocks. So my question is, is do I go Espeon then? I should go Espeon. His Moonblast will hurt, but I can stop him from rocking me and then Baton pass out. He wished. So what's he trying to heal up is the question. So, Calm Mind. He goes king, that's probably where he's trying to wish heal, is the king. So this is Stalinstein, 3.0, because DoD was 2.0, and I don't remember what Shadow's 1.0 was. Oh, and Ambipom died. Cool, we got this. Alright, so there is Celestela getting its wish. I am now plus one, plus one. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to keep it that way versus Celesteela. Uh, heavy Slam hurts, but I, actually I'm going to baton pass that into Chandelure. Puts up the sub. Okay, he's sub-toxic, so he's stall. I'm going to Flamethrower here, break the sub. Leech Seed, he's probably protecting next. I am going to Flamethrower again. Again in the pig. Now the question becomes, is he Scarfed? And if he is, then what? I'm guessing he's Scarfed. So we're going to write back into Claydol. Let him hit Claydol with the Head Smash if that's what he wants to do. Um... Shandy just has too much use right now, so we're going to double into Claydol immediately, or back up into Claydol immediately. i got to keep Shandy semi-intact because once Shandy goes down, Celesteela kind of has a field day outside of my Tarantrum, but my Tarantrum will not appreciate a heavy slam. I am Scarf Tyrantrum though, but play it all. Earthquakes. Ooh, Shadow, why are you letting me do this to you? 
Why are you letting me do this, Shadow? What did you bring in on Claydol last time? Stalinstein came out, so I should just Psychic on it again. I'm going to Psychic. Celesteela comes out. Okay. 10%. Uh, toxic Sub Leech Seed. So does he go for the free sub, is my question, or does he Toxic again to try and cripple, knowing that I would double back into Shandy potentially? I'm just going to play the same cycle. I'm going to run into Espeon. He puts up the sub. I'm going to call Mind. He can Leech Seed. Heavy Slam. Okay. That's what I thought was coming. And we're going to Baton Pass. Tom pass right back into Shandy. And he seeds me. Yep, so now he's going to protect. Because Toxic will do 12. He'll get another from that. So on the protect. I'm going to double into Ninetales. Oh, oh, he read that. He read that. He read the uh, switch there. So that takes off nine tails off the board. That's unfortunate. Um, Calking here, Gyarados to Celesteela. Plus one. He toxic is toxic and seeding is really all he's gonna do to me. And he's not defense. He's not fully defensive invested because he has to be significantly specially invested to get the boost. So if he's death invested, he's not calm. He's probably careful nature. That's the right spread to get him where he needs to be. Yeah, so he's mildly defensive invested. Plus one D dance waterfall with two shot. Plus two, and I have Veil up now too. Still doesn't do enough. Um. Plus one Spadef. Chandelier. Custom set. Flamethrower's still doing enough to break him. I need to get rid of that Celesteela's sub. So I'm going to have to break it with Shandy. He's going to obviously protect to make sure I take the damage from... No, he didn't. Is he heavy slamming to kill? Yeah, he's heavy slamming to make sure I die. So there goes Shandy. Had to trade Shandy for a sub. So Shandy is my three. Well, now we have to go into Tyrantrum and we have to click Head Smash. Okay. What's taking the scarfed head smash? Please don't miss this head smash. 
There goes Celestila. In comes Victor. Victor is naturally faster than me, but I'm and I'm assuming he's scarfed. Ice beams. Live. No, he I'm assuming he's scarfed. If he's not scarfed, I'm in trouble. We're gonna go ahead and mega and D dance. If he's scarfed, I'm in trouble. Or if he's not scarfed, I'm pretty much done here. So Claydol's gone. Claydol was Mon 6. Yeah, he's scarfed. So, Gyarados. Gyarados, and my veil ran out a while ago, so that's gonna make things a little more difficult. Custom set at plus one attack versus, um, what is this thing, Venusaur? Venusaur, let's assume uber defensive. Because um, it doesn't, no, uh, not a bit, uh, mold. Mold breaker. Ice Fang does 47% to this thing. And the worst he can do is 30 some percent. And if he's Giga Drain, I still live. So I'm going to Ice Fang. Go through his thick fat. 43%. He missed. He missed his Leech Seed. Well, I'm going to go ahead and D Dance again because I can sweep if I D Dance again, I think. So I am going to D Dance again. Make sure I'm faster here than everything on his team. Synthesis, that's fine. Ice Fang, just to keep pounding away at him. There he gets his seeds. Ice Fang again. Kills, there goes Venusaur. Venusaur was on 9, I believe. Nope, 8. Clef. Calcs here. Gyarados at plus two attack. Versus uh, Clefable. I'm going to assume unaware just because that's what makes sense. I'm going to waterfall here. Protects. He's trying to get to that. Okay, I need a max roll to kill here. Otherwise, he can get off a wish protect. That scarf Nido King is going to be a huge issue right now. Nido King once again. There's Gain on the pig. Gain on the pig goes down. In comes Clefable. That's Neo King gaining the pig. 2v3. That's where we sit. And a waterfall. He can protect. Actually, I'm going to D dance predicting the protect. I know that's getting greedy, but if he's going to protect to try and do that, then I'm just going to D dance to get up and sweep. I want to hit this Clefable and kill it. I don't want it wish passing. And I can set up every turn it wish passes, I can set up on it. He forgot about Mold Breaker! Run. I think I've clinched this out. I think I'm going to pick a 3-0 here. But I'm not 100% certain if that's going to be the case or not. If he goes for the protect here to try and get lefties and recovery from... Yeah. 
he did protect. And there's the D-Dance. I called the protect. I knew he, he either was going to wish or he was going to protect. And if he wished, I was double D-Dancing. If he wished protect, or protect wished, I was going to do that. I now outspeed him completely at plus three attack and plus three speed. I've got... This thing's dead. This thing cannot... It It's a roll. If I absolutely min roll... Oh, he went for the double. Wow. He got the double. Now he can live. I am going to do this. He's going to have to hit me. He's going to have to hit me. If he goes for a wish, he loses. Yep, there's the hit. He did not kill. But Leech Seed did. Now I believe I lose. I believe I lose due to that double. I'm pretty sure I lose to that double now because he's going to have Scarfed King that can EQ me. And he's at 16. He can recover. Clef. Clefable. Or no, it's Clefable's out there. Espeon. Custom set Espeon. Psychic kills. He, ha he has to let this go down to Psychic. Then he's going to scarf himself into EQ and win. So there goes Stalinstein. Stalinstein's gone. Gyarados is gone. He's going to have EQ or Earth Power, one of the two. Yep, Earth Power. And he's scarfed. So that's uh, 2 and 6 minus 14. I'm pretty sure that's done. I'm pretty sure that's it for my run in PCF as far as trying to get to playoffs. Uh, who just died? Espeon. Espeon's gone. So, yeah, this thing is definitely scarfed. And it kills me. Yep, much closer than before. So... That's it. Nito King didn't run me over, but I misplayed on the gear. Or I didn't misplay. The double protect on the Clefable was just RNG saying "fuck you" to me, and that's what it is. So, uh, GG Shadow. Um, hopefully, I can still sneak into playoffs somehow. I'm gonna have to win out and get back to like six and six, and pray that somebody screws up bad enough I can get in. But it is what it is. With that, thank you guys for watching. We're going to keep rolling. Try to get back to 500 at the very minimum. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you later.